Welcome family, hope you guys are having a blessed, awesome day. Today we're gonna change things a little. But before I do that, I want you guys to know this. You are loved, no matter what you have done. Death or funerals guys, you know, passing of loved ones. I'm trying to change the mindset. Because I see there's many, many, many people passing away nowadays. I want you to understand that each and every one of us on this earth are here on contract which you have agreed to. Now I want you to think about this. Even the Bible itself confirms what I am saying. There's a scripture there. You cannot return to somewhere that you have never been before. Think about what I am saying here, guys. How can you return to somewhere that you have never been before? Here's the new channel, guys. Make sure you subscribe. The Earth. She is beautiful. Just look at her. Doesn't matter whether it's day or night. She is beautiful. Just look at her. Whether the sun rises on the one side of the earth, whether it sets on the other side of the earth, always remember one thing. We are bound by rules. Now let me explain what I'm talking about to you. It does not matter, you can be the richest man on this earth. Have the fanciest cars. Live in the most beautiful home. The most expensive home. Or, on the other hand, you could be a poorest man living on the streets or even living here in a shanty or a shack as we call in South Africa. Informal settlements like these, you could even live there. It does not matter at all. The rules still apply to you. Remember something, you were started here, you were born into this world came into this world in from your mother's womb there you there think about what I'm saying the rules still apply you will die like everybody else whether you rich whether you are poor death is the only sure thing that we have in this life Think about what I am saying guys, I want you to think about it. now it is time for you guys to understand this, rules still apply. Now let's start our first near death experience because guys I'm gonna bring in a few others so that I can show you that these things still apply to you. Now, here's a near-death experience and this near-death experience is going to show you guys, it does not matter, you must understand. Listen to this near-death experience and you're going to understand why I'm stressing to you not to worry about death anymore. Death is just a transformation. Near-death experience story time. Don't worry, I won't say how I got there. But I will say I was gone for 20 minutes, so I believe that I was where you go. So I guess I was looking down and just light permeates the outer uh, perimeter of my line of vision, white light. When I look up, um, there's just light. It's just light. It's like air. It's not surrounding anything. It's not coming from anywhere. It is just light. 
and there were about 15 to 10 figures standing pretty close to me. And I knew that wasn't the form that they always had. I kind of knew that they were just in this form to make me feel comfortable. Imagine um, a light bulb in the shape of a person. There was light on the outside, there was light on the inside, but there was, you could see their facial features. It was clear. These figures just looked like they were waiting to see my reaction. I'm pretty sure everyone reacts differently to being here. The one closest to me was a woman and I asked her, am I in heaven? And she said, yes, yes, you made it just like that. And I dropped down, just collapsed. And this sound came out of me that was more like a siren. I know a human couldn't make this. I know an animal. It was just everything bad, everything worldly just coming out of me. And as this sound was coming out of me, joy and all the all that great stuff that humans don't have words for was filling into me. Just I was becoming this life. And there were a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings, but the only thing that I can remember that I can put into remember that can be put into words is the knowing that I can't F up anymore. I was just so relieved. It was just this weight off of me. I can no longer mess up. And they all were very happy that I was happy and they all come around and help me up by my arms and help me stand up. And I asked them, is he here talking about Jesus? And they start to lead me away. And she says, yes, yes. They all say, yes, yes. And just knowing that I was going to meet the creator or I was just going to figure out all this stuff. It just, I, I, I guess that's, I feel like that's what woke me up. I wasn't ready for that yet. Actually, the doctors woke me up. But yeah, that I, I was, I came back because of that. And I'm going to make a part two because there's something that I really wanted to share about this experience um, that I didn't really realize until afterwards. Now, I want you guys to listen closely to what she's about to speak about and listen carefully towards the end. And you're going to hear why I say don't worry. So... I didn't really talk to anybody the rest of the day and the next day I went for a walk in a cemetery. Not this one. I'm now realizing I should probably go to this one because I saw something there that was pretty cool. I realized um, because of this for a while, um, there were a lot of people close to people who um, are close to me who were passing away and it was for a while and still kind of is um, kind of hard to me uh, for me to not say we when I talk about people who are dead because I do realize that even though I had this experience it could have all been just a hallucination um, I don't know for 100% sure oh I definitely 100% certain scientific proof evidence that that's where I went I feel that way, but other people would doubt me. And especially, you don't want to come into somebody who's grieving with, I know. Anyway, I realized that, you know how much middle school sucks? Everybody's mean and there's a bunch of bad stuff that happens. But then you get to high school and you completely forget about middle school. Who cares? You don't think about the teachers. You don't think about the kids beneath you that are still there. You don't think about any of that. You just are in high school now. That's how I felt when I was there. I have a family. I have a son. I have friends and loved ones. But when I got there, I realized death is a problem for the living. Death is just another part of life. Now that I had left that plane of existence, I can't do anything about what's over there. I was only there for a little bit and I'm pretty sure that after I get freaking signed in or whatever, <laughs> um, there's something that can probably be done. I don't know, I didn't get that far. But worry is not something that happens on that side. 
and I was walking through the cemetery seeing things like this and these big giant mausoleums. And I thought about people releasing balloons on the anniversary of someone's death. And Claire would want us to find her killer. She don't care. Everything that happens in relation to someone's life and death after a person has passed is for the living. Now, I want you to think about what was said there and tell me what do you think guys now this is the reason why i'm starting this new channel it's because i want to change the mindset when it comes to death guys it's nothing to fear we are all going to heaven it's because that is where we come from each and every one of us hell is a lie from the pit of hell from whence it comes you are all accepted we are all loved we are one collective remember that.